This is the second part of how to play fun and cello, violin and viola. This second part, on this second part we are going to learn how to build funk bass lines. But the first thing that we have to learn is some of the techniques that we are going to use for playing funk bass lines. When we are going to play funk bass lines we can use many of our fingers, of our right hand, as thumb, index, middle and ring. But on this occasion, we are going to talk about only two fingers, the index and the middle. The first exercise that we can do for practicing or for entering to this world of how to play funk bass lines is to play the open strings with these two fingers, but alternating them. And also, we are going to do some special thing, some special technique. The fingers doesn't have, does not have to go to the air. Or the space, but when we play, they have to go to the next lower string to rest on the next lower string. Can you listen the difference? When I rest my hands on the lower string, the next lower string, the sound is more defined. When I play on the air, it's different. So I can do this all on these strings. The only string that I can't do this is on C. Why? Because I don't have a lower string than C. But the other strings I can do it. So you can practice with a metronome. You can start playing uh, quarter notes in all the strings, open the strings. practice this uh, the same fingering I mean using uh, index middle index middle alternating them with the scales with arpeggios with any other exercise that you have or you know okay then a second technique that we are going to know today for playing funk bass lines is the same one that we use on the first tutorial about how to play funk and it has to be with muted notes dead notes, ghost notes. This is an undefined sound that we are going to use when we uh, rest our left high hand lightly on the fretboard. It means this, this, the, 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 we want to try, to, we want to get an undefined sound like that. Okay, so then you can practice this one again with all the strings you put only lightly on the fretboard of your hand, your left hand, and play again quarter notes, eight notes, sixteen notes, etc. Then we can start to mix these notes, ghost notes, dead notes, muted notes, with real notes. You can start again with open strings. see the pattern that I used for starting this tutorial. 
This is a pattern that I learned when I was a child. Uh, this is a pattern that I uh, learned from my, my father. So, I'm going to play it slow and then I'm going to explain how I'm playing. Can you listen to this? Mixing with real notes, just I uh, rest my left hand lightly on the fretboard. Okay, so this is the idea. You can play this uh, uh, pattern and other ones. You can uh, create your own patterns. Also, it's very important that you listen to another bassist, uh, funk bass lanes, for uh, learning and try to um, transcribe directly to the cello these ideas for playing funk bass lines. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. I invite you to see the another uh, tutorial that I have. And also, if you like this uh, theme, I have uh, the notation for this lesson and other ones. And, and very soon I am going to, to have ready uh, the first uh, method for cello alternative. This first method is going to talk about these techniques and more. And I call we call it uh, contemporary techniques for pizzicato. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next tutorial.